I have something that I want you to think about today. Yes, I do. If you walk out in nature, you'll see foliage, wildlife. You'll see plants and trees growing freely out in the wild, in the open. You'll see animals running around, frolicking. You'll see dogs, cats in a domestic environment, if you will. You'll see possibly raccoons. You see possums in the evening hours in some neighborhoods. You'll see birds all of the time flying around, hawks, uh, maybe even a bat or so. Every once in a while, depends on where you are. You may even find an owl. You see animals. You'll see cats and dogs after a good rain drinking water from the side of a street corner. You see cats maybe eating some grass or some sort of growth coming from the ground. What I'm getting at is this, and it's real simple the way that I'm trying to get to this, is that these animals live out of doors or they can and have the potential to live out of doors without being taken care of by us. These animals are wild. The plants are wild. They grow in the wild. Birds don't worry about where the food is coming from. Nature, which birds are as well, a part of. Nature provides for the birds. It provides for the fish. It provides for the animals on land. They don't have to pay for anything. They have a place to live based on their species. Underground, in a nest, in a tree, on top of the ground, in a bush, or wherever. They don't have to be concerned about survival, generally speaking. So my question to you is this. Why do we, human beings, have to pay for food? Why do we, human beings, have to pay for water? To drink more specifically why if all of these things are afforded to our friends out in the wild freely then why are we paying for them have you ever considered this have you ever really really thought about this now it's not wrong it's not a crime it's not a sin for someone to sell us a product because it takes a willing partner or a willing agent such as us to go out and purchase this product or this food even water in the bottles from a store from an individual from a company but it was not always that way once upon a time we lived in the wild as well before cities were built before communities were formed man lived in the wild so what has changed other than the obvious evolution just simply means change and advancement if you will over time that's caused our change have you ever considered on some level getting back to the old way things were where we don't have to pay for those things that we have had provided for us since the beginning of time by the Creator, God. Have you ever thought about creating your own garden, growing your own garden, creating uh, even a better water supply where you don't have to worry about a municipal only source of water? Maybe that would be a little bit more complex in today's times. It's going to take a little bit more effort, potentially, if you could do it. You may just have to resort to water because of the way things have grown and are evolved. But food we most definitely can grow for ourselves. There's a lot of things that we can do for ourselves, saving us much in finances. Think about it. This video is just to get you to think. How much do you and I rely on industry? for our survival, our sustenance versus 
or in contrast to how much we rely on us. That was it, and that was all. Have a blessed day.